Hey coach, this is Mark Hart here with System Basketball. Welcome to today's video where we'll be discussing how you can use the dribble drive motion offense versus zone defense. So let's get into it. Zone and the DDM offense. The DDM offense is really hard to guard. Oftentimes the opponent would rather go zone than deal with your dribble drive. Does that mean that you stop running dribble drive? Well, we believe that you can run your dribble drive and your zone offense should flow with your DDM transition. Basic alignment should be similar to your DDM spacing and flow easily from your DDM spacing. Conceptual attacks of the zone create a very effective zone attack. Attacking in an area, attacking a gap, drawing two, screening and distorting the zone all fall in this category. Let's take a peek at how your DDM spacing and how you can use it to attack the gaps. The colored areas are the key areas to attack. Simple, basic zone principles here. Nothing, nothing different with your dribble drive. You want to attack the baseline. You want to attack the short corners. You want to attack the mid post area, the low post area, and the nail area. The arrows ind indicate your gaps. You want to force two players to guard this attack. So if you're driving, someone's filling behind you, just like normal dribble drive. Question, can I, reg can I run my regular dribble drive motion versus zone? Yes, you can. We love DDM versus zone, especially when you're stagnant with your normal zone high-low attack. Players aren't, players in that don't seem to attack the zone very much. And if you're not getting short corner and paint touches, your zone will get stagnant. How is it the same? Well, the continuity is basically the same. You can pass, cut, you can fill opposite or same. That's where it's slightly different. But you are looking to draw two. And if you drive, someone's filling behind. Your post will look to get opposite the ball and you can screen out the bottom of the zone. A Jerry Pettigo, Pettigrew concept of blocking out the zone defense, boxing out the zone defense. And how is it different also? Your gaps are not gonna be the same. You're gonna have to attack from different angles a little bit and you're gonna have to throw more skip passes to cause the closeouts to create your gaps. Now let's take a look at how you use the gap attack. So you can have your one get a little wider. Your five doesn't need to be there. He can be out wider. He can be, he could space, space out even more. You want to draw two defenders and you want to use the down up over concept. You attack down, pass up and pass over. You can adjust your post, offensive player four in this diagram, to a short corner to short corner movement, and you can lift your two and three to create more room on the baseline. Let's take a look at how lifting can help you. Now you're putting them in a position where X2 and X3 may not necessarily know who's going to guard two, and same thing with X4 and X1. And the traditional way of getting into dribble drive would be throwing your one to five pass and cutting through. As you can see now, five would look to attack that gap. If he's attacking that gap, three would look to fill behind, one would look to come up a little bit, two would stay space, four would block out and look, stay low. He would seal off X four there and look for a high low pass off the penetration. What do we do when attacking the zone? Well, we, use, we utilize our same transition from our man and zone offense. So we're running our two to the corner, our three to the corner, our one's pushing, our five is trailing, and our four is getting opposite the ball into the dunker spot. We're, we're really trying to get the ball ahead and play out of flow and transition as much as possible, even if they're in zone. We use entries. 
to identify and attack the zone. We'll use a push entry, a stack entry, a bump entry, all popular Wahlberg concepts. We try to hammer the short corner and mid post. We try to distort the zone with the dribble, with the pass. We will also use some screening, some ball screening, and with our spacing. We will use our normal dribble drive as a change up to our regular zone offense. We don't necessarily just run dribble drive versus the zone. We have a high low attack versus the two three. We have like a two one two basic attack versus a one two two and a one three one. But we will look to use our dribble drive attack on occasions. Kurt Gelsdorf and myself made a dribble drive motion offense A to Z online course. And the attacking the zone was one of the chapters. And in that chapter, we covered the following. We covered the Wahlberg push extensively. We covered all the different ways that you could run that, various ways. You can have your point guard run it. You can have a pitch back to it. You can run it into a ball screen. You can do a pass entry into it. We covered it all. We also covered a 1-3-1 zone attack, getting a player to the baseline, short corner. We showed in that attack how to get your point guard there, how to get your trail guard there, how to get a wing player there, how to, how to, get, how to put your post player there. We believe in universal attacks and putting your best players in position. So we don't just, we want it to be a universal offense. So we taught you how to move all those pieces around. We taught a simple 2-1-2 zone offense to attack an odd front zone. We showed actions with, with screening actions after timeout, dead balls, stack actions, ball screen actions, flare screen actions, all various ways to attack and distort the zone. We also showed you a baseline out of bounds zone play. We have some film clips to back it up. And we also, with the course, we had a Q&A function. So there were coaches that were live on this course that asked questions. So if you're interested in, in taking a deeper dive into the dribble drive motion offense, in the link description below is a link to Kurt and I's course. It's 13 chapters. It's over 17 hours of instructions. We have a accompanying PDF file with 540 pages of the content and the diagrams. This course is available. Again, like I said before, we'll put it in the description for you at System Basketball. Thanks for joining me today on this video on dribble drive motion versus the zone. I hope you picked up one or two things today and we'll see you on the next video.